<laughs> Welcome to the Studs Are Up, I am Lion Z. I'm Lyra. Right, we'll start off with a football teaser. My teaser this week is who are the three time all top goal scorer, all time top goal scorer left footers in the Premier League? That's a bit of a fucking tongue. Thanks, I'm not more out of your mouth, Gary. Yeah, so Julian Nix is not up there. Um, but yeah, three time all time fuck off top goal scorers <laughs> in the Premier League. So I have to be left footed. Prominently left footed. Is that a word, prominently? Predominantly. Predominantly left footed. Um, we'll give you the answer at the end of this, so you have to watch the whole fucking show again. Nicholas or you can watch, or you can fast forward. Yeah, Nicholas Dell because the answer to loads of questions. Yeah, you have the answer. <laughs> if, yeah, if you're always panicking with questions, mm. you have the answer. We're talking about game week two in the Premier League and the Champions League draws. Obviously, the English got handy out draws apart from Spurs. Spurs got dusted. Lockout Spurs again, dusted the start of the season, dusted again, dusted with Wembley. Can't score in August. They're fucking getting flat out dusted, Harry Kane hitting posts and everything. But Madrid and Dortmund and Apoel, that is a tough yeah. route for them. Tough I like it for them. Yeah. Well, they've, I, I put money on them out to win the Europa League. Um, so it's not going to be bad out there, but sure look, they could have won it last uh, year. Game for game for whichever one knocked them out. Dink! Dink! Um, <laughs> United, Benfica, Ball, CSKA. Yeah, tough trip to Moscow, but uh, you'd expect us to top the group. I wouldn't say handy enough now, not in South Benfica. No, every time he's eating now, it's tough enough fucking wrong. All great. Yeah, you see, it's the home fixture that does it for the middle teams, isn't it? Yeah, and Liverpool, Spartak, Sevilla, and Maribor. Maribor, yeah, you'd expect Liverpool to come out of that as well. Be coming out. They're looking good now, shaky start with defence, but they're coming good now, I think. Well, they always seem to score more goals than they can see, don't they? So that always helps. Ch- Chelsea, Athletic, Roma, and Carabag. Who the fuck are these lads? I can't, if you can't pronounce them. Carabag, Carabag. Anyway, I've never... Oh, they're the... Uh, Azerbaijan club, aren't they? Oh, yeah. The first ever team from Azerbaijan to make it. It's a job, why are you Well, you'd expect the next quality to top the group. So Chelsea let go top the group. Yeah. Roma, what, what Roma? all the Italian sides at home are sure. Conte would know how to do it. There won't be no soft touches anyway, they have some good players. Yeah, um, so like, Champions League draw, English teams have to be happy at Paris for Spurs. The light for Spurs. Yeah, all yeah. the Spurs fans. I don't mind too much, I don't feel um, As well with Spurs, unbeaten all last year. Now they move to a new stadium. West Ham had it last year. Yeah, you wonder if the voodoo is real. And Harry Kane not scoring in August as well. It seems to be very... Um... But like some people think 11 players against 11 players. Why does the stadium matter so much? Why? I don't know. Dude. I don't know, yeah. I suppose moving from Whitehart. Mentally later. moggy brains. I think of <laughs> Playing at home. Home fucking fixtures. Everyone expects them to be I think it's white. because of Harry Kane isn't scoring. Like you said, you said it yourself earlier. His stats are sick. He's hitting crossbars, uprights. He's the most touches inside the box of any player. In his yeah, yeah, yeah. so far. More shots see. inside the box. He just can't get the goals. What's, what's going on, Harry? Twelve point five million. Who can be in the fancy? Wembley. Who do is it? <laughs> um, same old Arsenal as well. Yeah, it's zero consistency. What the fuck? Like they get stuck. They had the ball around the box for three minutes and then decide to put the ball in. They're always looking for the perfect goal, aren't they? Yeah, but still, like, if you're going to keep the ball around the box for three minutes... I think they need Alexis Sanchez back. In the I mean, Sanchez, Santi Cazol as well. He's injured. He's a big loss. Time, isn't he? They could do it. Yeah, Koscielny needs to come back as well. They're missing a lot of big players. It was like, it's sort of a bit like United last year. It's like, one, only one idea, and then... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I wouldn't say so much last year. I think he had a limited squad but last year. I think he was trying to figure out what his best team was. Yeah. If you go back to Louis van Gaal now, yeah. That was very one trick. We we'll keep trick the ball. We we'll get one goal. We we'll keep the ball. Yeah. And if we have the ball, they can't score. So like, I think Arsenal need to try something. Maybe play Giroud and Lacazette up front or pop. Yeah. Try that out. Need to try something different. Same old Arsenal. Same old Arsenal fans same online giving Arsenal. about all the same old shit. On oh, the Arsenal so, TV boys. So they need to start something out there. Same old Arsenal again. Pass the ball around the box. It's actually getting boring to watch. But this is the thing now. Because of Leicester done it. Yeah. Counter attacking. That's it, yeah. And all teams just saying, oh, we'll sit back now against a good team and try to get a counter-attack. Well, yeah, look at what Diego Simeone has done over the years with Atletico. He's exactly. a prime example now of a counter-attack in football. It is, it's dull to watch because it's ten men behind the ball, they're getting battered, and they've got two fast wing backs and two wingers that are gone straight up the field on a counter-attack. That seems to be like, because of Leicester done it now, a lot of teams are actually pulling it out of the bag and doing it very well. Because when you got ten lads, eleven lads behind the ball, it's fucking hard to score. You tell him about every team does it against United. We take too long going across the centre and spreading the ball out wide, left and right. Gives other teams then 10 men back and they were trying to break down West Ham. Done it was yeah. surprising, were very hard to break down last week. Yeah, exactly. But that's it. When, as soon as you get that one goal, then it opens up a bit because they have to attack. Yeah, for United, what? Swansea changed the formation and United went bang. No, Fellaini came on. 
Bang, three votes. <laughs> Never mind Martial, Fellaini's the man. Yeah. Um, I have to talk about Rooney, what an absolute servant yeah. for the Premier League, retired now from England, but is he looking for attention because he's playing well now? I don't know, I think he's doing, I think what he's doing is he's getting rid of all the pressure off his back. He doesn't yeah. have the captaincy I don't know one's cricket in Melbourne has, oh this is England's captain doing yeah. this, that, that. He's out there playing his game. He's enjoying football now. This is it, I can see him being back in the England board. I can see him banging 15 to 20. He hasn't done it in the last 10 years, hasn't got over 20 goals, but 15 to 20 goals in the Premier League this year. Injuries are kind of working in his favour because a lot of the Everton boys, Ramirez and Trasson are out injured now as well, so he's the most yeah. forward player out there at the moment. Sigurdsson coming in, what a goal! Wow. What a goal! That was about <laughs> What's unfair is if the likes of Zlatan or someone done that, all, everyone would be all over. See, it's called into the fancy kit. Okay. Zlatan is back. Yeah, that was a good. That was uh, the kind of mercurial signing that we didn't get, but we needed. If you know what I mean. Yeah, like yeah. if Lukaku got injured. Yeah. Well, you see, Martial. We're kind of missing a player out left. I think Zlatan coming is Perisic deal completely finished. Yeah, yeah. Because we have guys. We've actually Young back, Shaw back, Rojo back. Yeah. So we have yeah. a squad now this season. You have a serious squad. You have a serious squad. Competent squad. Competent squad. It's going to do business. You like look fucking. United you know, Huddersfield and West Brom are top of the league. Yeah. Three yeah. Uh, two shots for West Brom as well. Tony Pudis' defence is back. Johnny Evans, not even there, then no. here. That new lad. Pro 7 foot Hags- 7. Hags- Hags- Pro Hags- 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 7 foot. Egyptian goal scoring machine. Pudis is the man. So fixtures for next week. Mine up for last week. If anyone's seen my Snapchat, I had 40 euro on Arsenal to win and Leicester to win. Uh, 40 euro looking back, 100 euro. Nice little bet. So I'm going to do two teams this week. Don't blame me to fucking lose and you put it on because it's not often I do win money. So like if Bournemouth at, Bournemouth at home, City away. Bournemouth at home, City away, has to be City all day. Goal, City all day. A, a goal glove because Bournemouth haven't kept the clean sheet this season. Bournemouth can't score. Or score the goal. And they concede. Palace so, at home, Swansea away. Oh, good chance for Palace, Robert De Boer. Or is it Frank De Boer or Robert De Boer? One, one. one of De Boers. Yeah. Um, I fancy, that I'm going to put Palace in as my one or two teams are going to do a double. Palace versus Swansea is going to be one of the teams I put in. Yeah, Palace need a win and Swansea need a win. Are Swansea or Cat. Huddersfield versus Southampton. I think Huddersfield are a farmer. Score, score piece. One of tore absolute Southampton apart during the week. Yeah. Tore them apart. Uh, Newcastle versus West Ham. Newcastle are fucking shit. Yeah, they haven't recorded a win either. They, they have no. They haven't scored a goal either. Dwight Gale, Blankin. Uh, what's he, Mitrovic? He's a little bit. Yeah. He hasn't scored either. <laughs> Um, Boy, I fancy West Ham. Uh, West Ham, in fairness, great performance last week coming back to the Hampton with 10 men. Yeah, I know. And Aaron Beach nearly. The man's going off to feel like that. Nearly yeah. broke the fucking neck clean off. Aaron, you know that you caught your own. Watford versus Brighton. Watford and Brighton, bro. Watford, I'd say. Watford are looking strong. They are strong. They have a strong little side. Marcus Silva's the man, isn't he? Kapui can't even get into the squad. He was unreal for them now. Yeah, he was serious last year. Put some, put some serious calls out of the way. United versus Leicester. This is the one. If United oh. win this game, they're going to be... They look like title contenders then, won't they? People start taking them a bit more serious. Don't say 2-1 to United. I think Leicester are scoring goals on Kazaki, but Harry Maguire, he's after doing it once. He's a serious yeah. inside. Yeah, he's after doing once since he came from Hull. And then we have the Sunday games, Chelsea versus Everton. Oh. I don't know. That's a tough one. Yeah. I'd have, I'd have to say, you'd have to say Chelsea. You can't see Vazza getting scored. I'd go 2-1 Chelsea if, if, if I was a gambling man. 2-1 yeah. two, two, Chelsea. Yeah. West Brom for Stoke. Oh Jesus, that has to do draw right now. Got to be 7-4 four, then, you never know. I don't know, yeah, the Jesse likes to do an alright. Hesse, yeah. Hesse, yeah. Liverpool versus Arsenal. Oh, I'm going to say it. It's going to be a great game, I can't wait to watch that. As long as it doesn't end in nil, I think the, the neutral fan will be well happy. Yeah. But uh, I'm going to say 2-1. Two, oh. two bad I think this will be a week for the draws. Two bad, three draws. Two bad defences and two great attacks. Yeah. And. Nil all. Yeah, nil all. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Watching from behind the coach. What's and it? Uh, Wenger came out and said Sanchez is available for this game. Is he, yeah? Yeah, so. Whether he plays now or not. When's his fucking transfer in the post? 31st. Looks at the watch, then. No, yeah. the, the, the watch boys. Um, that's another t- six days, five or six days. Six days. I, don't, I don't have the exact day. Though. And Spurs versus Burnley, it has to be their first home win recorded in Wembley. Yeah, Spurs are really going to do it. Hurt with fantasy managers, uh, soccer accumulators, everything. I, I had Spurs down to be a Chelsea last year. Apparently, you could be about fucking 12 to 1 to win that game. It won't be a bad old 5 to 1. You never know. I, I, no, in fairness to Spurs now, last week against Chelsea, they dominated the game. They did. They absolutely dominated against Chelsea. They just One of the best midfields, their defence is fucking tidy as well. Victor, and he pure solid there in the middle. When you have. Yeah, oh, sure. They've created Dembele as well. Yeah. Decided to sign that new Sanchez lad as well, so 
And the fairness as far as they are looking strong. Yeah, this is from Ajax. Not, yeah. He played the final against Chile last year. Yeah, he's a, he's a sterling. Looks like a Columbia. beast of a chap. Beast of a chap. The only legal export from Colombia to come to the Premiership. Mm. Right, so give me a teaser at the start that I couldn't fucking spit out for about five minutes. All time top goal scorer, left footers in the Premier League. Number one, Dyler. Oh, I have to say, running geeks. Robbie Fowler, <laughs> number one. Number two, <coughs> number two is Robin Van Persie. And number three, is Jimmy Fly Hassel Hasselbank. So if you got all three of them for play to you. A lot of people say Ryan Giggs, but he's You've won a whirlpool washing machine. Yeah, that's all uh, well, fuck all that. Set your house on fire. Mine, you're in customer care. <coughs> so anyway, yeah, that's our talk for this week. Game week two of the Premier League. Um as I said, I'm going to do a double. I'm gonna put a 20 hour double on Palace and West Ham. I know the two two teams are doing great, but all runs have to come to an end. I think West Ham are playing well. I think Palace are going to come good and win this game. Yeah, you'd expect Palace now to turn the, the hoodoo around. I think, I think Spurs might be. Uh, yeah, what, what did you do? What bet was it? All London, wasn't it? Palace, West Ham, fire in Spurs as well. It's fire because fire in Spurs, but for me, yeah, gambling sure. wise, I fucking hate putting in names on a Sunday. So I'd rather just have my bet. My yeah. money lost by the Saturday, yeah. so I'm not waiting. So like that's my double, but I'll do another little small little accumulator. Anyone who follows me on Snapchat, I'll put it up my Snapchat if you want to follow that. I just want to do an Aldi shopping doc a joke where you come in with two euros, <laughs> about the page that length of teams, and you'd just be and cursed. You'd you see that on fucking the internet the whole time, now it's pulling out docs about this size and winning about 11 grand off 50 cent. Yeah. Why haven't it happened to me? Or never happens. Never happens. I can't even win fucking 14 accumulators. So yeah, so that's what's this week. Like and subscribe, tell your friends about the studs are up. We are off and we'll talk to you next week. Good luck. Good luck.